Da -da -da -da. Alrighty. Technology is great when it works. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> hello, guys. And uh, eventually we are here. I have uh, Andre Relano. Man, I, I, I can do this. You got it just before the live. <laughs> yes, but I couldn't do it when it's live. I have our great instructor, Hello, my friend, Andre. And, uh, Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay. I, yeah, we were distracted by uh, technologies that didn't work, and especially all these uh, new things that our great Google introduced all the time, and Facebook. <coughs> so we need to adopt on a fly. Anyway, guys, hello, and welcome to 40G live stream. Today, we'll be talking about glassware. Okay? Uh, first, Let's check how do you hear us and see us. Andre, you can talk a little bit so we know that everything. Yeah, hello everybody. Nice to, to be live again with you. I see on YouTube that some people are saying hello and uh, finally you started. Yes. And someone said that it is worth the wait. So probably you can hear us all right, but just give us a comment. Yes, so if everything's fine, Plus, if something is wrong, uh, well, tell us, but hopefully all is good. So, uh, let me do a little thing here. Okay. It should be starting. Okay. So, what do we have? Um, we have some submission on uh, Glassware. And we do have, I mean, uh, Glassware on Facebook page. This is where, uh, well, anyone can submit uh, their work and we gonna review it. I'm going to load 40G group, okay? And we're gonna find submissions. Then we do have workshop released. If you're a member of Pro Club, uh, you probably have seen it. Uh, it was, well, a little bit of Glassware, was more with splashes. Uh, a little bit more interesting, that I think, and more challenging. But uh, Pro Club review will be later because you guys need time to make it happen, right? To to do the home homework. So today we'll be talking about just glassware, and uh, you can first of all you can bring your own challenges. You can ask any question. You know, if you had in in past any issues or whatever shooting glassware. If you have a picture that you want receive our opinion on, please post it either on Facebook, because we're streaming on Facebook on the group and on YouTube. Uh, we'll try to monitor both places, uh, but if you have something, try to deliver, okay? Uh, we, we can, we can uh, look at your work. So, okay, cool, cool, we have, yeah, Joseph, Charles, Pablo, Mark, hello guys. Michael. <laughs> okay. So, glad you're all here. Andre, where is our glassware? Well, let, me, let me find it on Facebook. It seems that people can, uh, can hear us well. So, we have two places where people have submitted. Uh, first, they submitted as we uh, suggested in our last live on the 40G group by using the hashtag 40G glassware. So you can find it there. I think we have two submissions, one from Lydia and one from uh, Diana from Bulgaria. And also some other people submitted uh, as comments on your last post, Alex, when you were announcing the, the live show. Okay. I found uh, a splash from Lydia by using the yeah. footage of where I don't see anything else. Somehow, or I'll, uh, I'll Diana, try to share the link. Who's the second? Uh, Diana Boneva. Okay, found it. Cool, we have it. So we have okay. two two images to talk, right? Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Glassware. Let me share the screen and we'll talk, guys. Who's on YouTube? Let me do this. Let me post the link. 
to our 40G group uh, to that specific search that I used. Uh, so I post it on uh, on chat. You can load it and you can see. Wait a minute, what is going on there? Okay, if you want to see yourself. Technology, you're saying. <laughs> okay. Now let me switch to. Yeah. Okay. Now you see a Facebook page, and, uh, and this is our Glassware. So, Glassware and Splash uh, from Lydia. Cool shot. Somehow I remember I was shooting something similar a long, long time ago, uh, splashing, you know, on, on the side. It was some glass. And, um, well, you guys all know about uh, the way to shoot Glassware. Since it's glass, since especially if uh, it has some clear liquid, we just highlight background behind it, spot or you know something more interesting, and glass immediately will look nice. The well, there is not many tricks on this, right? Probably the only thing that you need to have a dark environment, except that spot, the bright spot on the background, uh, so the glass will look clear and nice, and plus glass by itself uh, could be, well, it could be a challenge, but on this case, there is not much challenge that I see in terms of the glass, right? But let me do this one second. But there is, no, it doesn't work this way. How I can, okay, that's a little bit better. So, what I want to point on this image. It was about that environment thing. Okay, you see it. My red pencil. You see this dark, it's rather a reflection or refraction. And on one side it's like this, on another side it's thinner. And if no splashes, it will be quite visible, and it is quite visible. And basically this is, I would say it's a mistake, it could be done better. Uh, Lydia, you need to have, you need to make sure that since your subject is symmetrical, right? It's a bottle, it looks look the same from both sides. We usually put shadows, reflection to be the same, right? This is where you need to control your spot, you need to control the environment because somehow you get a dark reflection. I'm not sure what it is because spot looks centered behind the bottle, but still you get that reflection that, um, well, it looked different. I would prefer to see this reflection, this type of tiny dark edge on, on this side as well, okay? Andre, wh wh is there anything about glass on this shot before we start? talking about splashes? Well, uh, I think it's, uh, it's a good shot. I like the gradient behind it. I think it's a good equilibrium of lights between the background and the front light. Uh, regarding the, the glassware part, um, not sure I'm a big fan of the uh, light that is hitting the bottle straight on from the direction of the camera. And I can That's see the, right. uh, the, sh the, the shadow of, uh, of the water on the name of the uh, drink. I think it's Kettle One. Mm -hmm. um, I think this reduces a lot the depth of, uh, of the image. Uh, it flattens the image a little bit. And maybe just maybe one or two millimeters a little bit lower with the camera position. That would be my suggestion. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't look good on the, on the neck if you go lower with the camera. But uh, these are minor things that I have noticed uh, now that we are watching for 10 minutes the same image. When you take it, <laughs> right. you know, you don't have this luxury. Okay, agree, that's, agree. That's yes. take. Uh, about angle, it's actually a cool thing. Uh, I, I didn't kind of notice it. Uh, guys, you understand, right? The camera should be either, little, you're talking about going lower probably, right? Not high. Yes, yes. Yeah, usually uh, it, looks, it looks better. Um, well, Especially, I was thinking that maybe I need to show it to you, but uh, let's talk, unless you will ask, you know, hey Alex, show me. I, I do have set up this uh, little glass with water there. Especially if it's a glass, if it's open, uh, open from top, the, 
the thing that you should. It's super important to show that oval of opening. And usually, if it's clear glass, we lower the camera. The camera is not looking straight, but from the from the bottom, a little bit from the bottom. It looks good. Uh, this perspective distortion that it gives, uh, it looks good by itself. But plus, we always will have that uh, little oval on top. We see it because it's not straight. If it's a line instead of oval, it's flat. It's not good. Okay. Peru, cool. So, Lydia, I think, I mean, I hope you, you got the idea. Uh, the rest, it's fine. It's a little bit messy, you know, uh, if, uh, well, I, now I'm talking about on the splashes. It's a little bit messy. Th that's fine like this, but, um, you know, there is way to improve to make it look like, you know, like advertising. Vodka splash splash should be way more interesting, and I think um, it will look way way better if the table would be clean. Really, because when you have you know lots of water all around, it just we see that it was a mess. Photographer was you know putting pouring the water. It was splashes. All is good, but it's like in the middle of something. Okay, this is sh the splash by itself. You know the, the well, no, okay, not splash. The whole composition. It's more like in the middle, but imagine that you take one picture first without any splashes, with perfect lighting. So you have clean table, you have clean bottle. Then, and you save it in, you know, good location, <laughs> you don't lose it. So then you start throwing water, you have all this mess. And then you choose a few images uh, with great splashes. And then you put all of them plus that first one in Photoshop, and then you have clean bottom, completely clean, nice bottom, without any water. And then you have this water, you know, this crazy splash is going in on top of this. It will look way, way, way better. It will be like, oh, this is almost impossible to shoot like this. And this is what we need to get, you know, that kind of feeling from the viewer. What do you think, Andre? Well, I think the, the splash is beautifully captured. I mean, there is no weird motion there, no blurry side. So this is a, a good thing. Um, the shape of the splash, I think it's okay. I, I don't mind. I mean, you can go trying 100 times and maybe you get a better one or not. But I fully agree with you about uh, about the table and uh, it's relatively easy to um, to take care of it. I mean, probably you already have one, uh, one shot, Lydia, with the table completely clean when you position your camera, testing the lights and so on. So try composite that uh, that image in uh, in this one and see see how it looks. Um, so nothing more than that, in, in my opinion. Yep. Thank you. Well, I think I think that's it. Um, I can talk, of course, I can <laughs> talk a lot about single <laughs> image. Well, maybe the, the very last uh, piece is the reflection on, on this label. It's not a big deal since there are lots of splashes and things, but um, it's kind of a little bit too much highlights there. But again, it's, it's very <laughs> minor. Don't worry about this. Alrighty. So, guys, if you have something that, let's, in your opinion, we missed on either on Facebook or on uh, YouTube, I mean, if you watch us, drop it, uh, drop a line on the chat. Maybe you'll bring something, okay, about this image. Talking about reviewing this image, okay. Then we do have another one. This is from 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 Diana. From Diana, yeah. Yep. And talking about, uh, actually, you know, one second. I, I didn't I didn't see the, the whole lighting setup. Oh, okay. So, here we go. How I could miss it. Uh, Lydia, you have this beautiful black screen on the left. I was thinking, what could be that piece on the right of the bottle, you know, on the right side, uh, that I was at, it looking strange because it was not symmetrical somehow, but I see the symmetrical light. I mean, the nice, boom, here we go. I don't know what you try to flag it, you know, flag with it, but definitely since the bottle, it's a lens and it's kind of, it's on opposite side, we see the reflection, actually it's a refraction, it comes through, uh, from this little piece on the on the left of the bottle, so it's not good. This is this is the piece, okay? 
We see it. That's, that's not good. You need to have two. It's fine to have it. A little bit larger because I see it ends here. It should be, you know, all the way. Two pieces on both sides and it will be perfect. Remember, guys, symmetrical lighting setup is important if it's just a symmetrical single uh, item that you shoot. Unless you, of course, you want to have, let's say, a reflection on one side, you put a strip box there on the front, that's fine. I'm not talking about this. But if it's just like, you know, contour, all this uh, edge light, it should be all symmetrical. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> and this is the lighting setup. Oof. <laughs> That's cool. And again, you see, it's not symmetrical, uh, the, the slag. But the result is this, and the result is quite symmetrical. And actually, it's wow. It's almost like a flame inside. You know, when you put a little bit of spirit there. And a cocktail. Cool. And that the opening on top, this is what... I was talking, and uh, what Andre was uh, mentioned there, right? Uh, it was a little bit. Is it from the bottom or from the top? How? It's hard to. I think a little bit from the bottom. Yeah. So a little bit from below. A little from below. We have that opening. Um, Andre, do you see anything that could be improved here? Because it's kind of cool. So you just mentioned that it would be nicer to shoot a little bit lower, right? Yes. Okay. But no, it, it, is, um, it is okay here. That's fine. Not not on this one. Ah, it's okay. done well. I would okay. say, uh, think that it's done well. Sorry, I misunderstood you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a beautifully executed image. And at first glance, you just see a glass, of, not a very special glass. And uh, you see some lights in it and you say, okay, it's maybe a simple image. There is no, no background, but this adds to the contrast. Uh, but if you start thinking about it, okay, how was it done? Then you start facing some difficulties imagining the, the lighting setup if you haven't seen uh, the post from, from our friend Anna here. So uh, I, I like it very much. I really like it. And I think the little blue dots behind it is quite a nice touch to create at least a little bit of separation between the glass and, uh, and the background. Okay, agree. That's a cool idea. And you know what? I'm thinking about this, uh, the, the background, uh, you know, that kind of line goes through. Uh, I'm not sure about how I like the way that it goes. I mean, it could be better. I think I the shape of the thing could be more, more, more interesting, more engaging, maybe more like a spiral, you know, or maybe more like a diagonally going. I don't see m much sense of going it like this, you know. Of course, it's it's very you know like artistic thing. I mean, whatever uh, the creator feels about it, uh, it's, it's it's not a mistake or whatever. Uh, but really, I would put it somehow, you know, more coarse, more because it it, it look interesting by itself. But other than this, uh, it's it's perfect shot. It's very nice. I don't have, you know, anything. It's unusual because of all these uh, colors, lots of colors, and yeah. but the way that it, you know, it's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Diana, that's good. Thank you for submitting. And also, she only used one speed light here, Let's so see. that's one, pretty interesting. Just one less speed light, yeah. This one? I mean, okay. On the background, right? Only, yeah. Yeah. I see. Just inside the softbox, and then she mm -hmm. gelled it out, flag it. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool and uh, uh, good, good command of background lighting. The beauty of glassware. You really can use only one light <laughs> source. Remember that uh, I think you posted, right? Uh, the. Um, how I can go to footage group again? Um, there is a lesson when I had, it was several uh, years ago, when I have multiple glasses with different colored water and with just single light source. And it was actually looking pretty cool. Okay, uh, how I can jump to, okay, let me go like this. Oh, home, okay. Because now I want to see the submissions. Here we go. There's two more. Before that, 
you want to take a question, Alex, maybe? Yes, if, if there is. Do we have? There is a question that I see yeah, on YouTube. It is okay. coming from uh, Vyaposh Red, if I pronounce your name correctly. I seriously doubt it. I'm sorry. I did my best. And he says, I really struggle getting the glass rim when shooting glasses on completely white background without composing. So if I understand his question correctly, uh, he's referring to getting a nice light on uh, on the rim of the glass mm -hmm. whenever the, the background is fully lit or in in high key if you want well uh it's that's a good question it's kind of understandable that yes uh there is a challenge on this but really it's it's hard to imagine why you have that issue i mean okay not why what kind of issue is this because you see we always get in reflection on the age of anything cylindrical and you know anything that basically we have um, yes okay cylindrical was the right word we always get in reflection from area that is uh, on the sides and behind the subject not directly behind and not on the sides completely or in front but uh, really behind but a little bit you know outside of the uh, usually of the uh, camera angle, you know, whatever lens is seen. And whatever you put there, it will be reflected on the edges. So what to get on a white background to have a nice um, dark edge, you really need to just put two flags, black flags. They should look like, like a strip boxes, basically. You've seen what uh, uh, Lydia did, right, on this. You see this black okay. screen. This is what exactly you need to have two of them. You need to put. This is where it may be tricky. Where to put them, because you can have them uh, physically. Let's say this is your. I can probably go there. You know, guys. Let me try to show you. In a moment. Um, okay. So we do have camera here. I'm going to switch to one second so I can show you a little bit. Uh, here we go. So, guys, this is what it is. It's not clean, but what I'm talking about is that when we have a light Behind it, right? You see it. Uh, let's say, where is it? So we put the light behind. And you see the edge. You see the reflection on the edge. OK? You see where I'm getting my light, and you see the reflection. This, is, could, be, this could be dark. It could be dark reflection instead of uh, bright. So imagine lots of light there. But if you put something here, really close to it, two pieces of cardboard, black cardboard, you will get, you, I mean, there is no other way, but you're going to get that reflection. They're going to get age reflection. And if you do it right, if you do it, if you do it Nicely and symmetrical, it will work. Really, th this is, I mean, this is the only way to get it right, and usually it works. <laughs> Andre, I know, do you have to add something to, add to this? Yeah. yeah, one more thing sometimes, and I'm going to use this headset to, to show, if, if the glass is too curved or uh, it has a strange shape, uh, then uh, a, a straight or a rectangle, let's say, flag will not work because it will need to match the shape of, uh, of your glass. Uh, otherwise, some, in some places it will be thinner, in some places it will be thicker, and you'll have a black line that will, uh, will basically vary in size. This is a very simple explanation, because if I have something straight and something straight, the distance between my flag and my object is always the same. But if I have something very curved, like a champagne bottle sometimes uh, have uh, strong curvatures, then the distance from the top of my fingers to the object is way bigger than the distance 
from this area to this area. And in this situation, the line that forms on the edge of the, of the object, a glass or a bottle or something like this, will look different. It will be thinner and then it will grow and it will become, uh, it will become bigger. Okay. Uh, Viato Shred, if I get your name again correctly. Uh, hope we managed to, to answer your question. Otherwise, uh, let us know in, in the comments. Okay. Yeah, I was looking, <laughs> you know, do I need to show it or not? But yeah, th this glass is super simple. It's just two, two straight lines. So uh, no, yeah. no reason. Um, what Andre uh, said from what I heard, I didn't hear unfortunately everything, uh, but partially. Uh, but well, our friend says he's okay. He understood the, okay, the principle. Cool, so cool. Mission accomplished. Let's move to the next submission. Okay, let's move to the next submission. Uh, from Gene, we have his favorito. This one. Okay. Again, splash. Again, uh, glass. And oh, what? I, I'm looking at this. It's kind of very unusual. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, first thing, it immediately, you know, jumped to my, the very few that I noticed. Uh, thank you to Andre. Thanks to Andre who did it notice uh, for the first time. Now I kind of, uh, the opening, that oval, uh, the, the top. Yeah. You see, it's a little bit too close, I mean, those pa oh, they, the lines almost parallel. So it's not enough, uh, in, in this case, yeah, it, it's lower. So you, you need to go lower with the camera to make bigger opening. Because this too tiny, it's good, it's better than just one line. I'm talking about opening, you understand guys, right? It's better, but it could be better. It could look be really better. Well, like, like, like there. I'm gonna switch to, I'll show you. Okay, so you see the, the opening, or even better, like this. You see the opening. Glass is, is dirty, but I'm talking about this oval. It's, it, imagine that here it would be similar to that nice, beautiful oval. It will look completely different, okay? So, now we getting back to our... This is very first thing. And it's easy, very easy to fix. I mean, it's just like this, but it's really hard to do in Photoshop. But, you know, in the camera, it's just <laughs> something that you, uh, you have to do it on the right. Um, then, it's a little bit... Uh, Jin, I think it's a little bit, little bit, maybe too much bright on here. One second. So, talking about this highlight, it's okay. Um, Andre, what do you think? Or is it okay? Maybe I'm kind of making because it's it's relatively. What small. are you referring? The the this the highlight, edge the, the white, the the white uh, thing. But I think it's it may be fine because I really like well, this. You see, th this gradient looks super cool. This part. Mm -hmm. oh, and this one is a little bit kind of out of control. It looked like, you know, a little bit too much light, well, but I'm not sure. In, in, in my opinion, it's not the, the, the perfect highlight, but it's, it's not bad. It's not disturbing. So my view is not drawn necessarily to, to that white part. Uh, but I think it can also be fixed easily in post. It might improve the, the photo, but I don't mind it that much, let's say. Okay. Though it's something white and flashy and uh, <laughs> that normally will draw attention. My attention is drawn somewhere else, actually. The splash, right? Where? The Here? splash. And if you, if you look a little bit at, uh, yes, the, the part that is falling from the glass, it almost looks like a human head with two arms. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, so immediately after my brain uh, makes this association of... Uh, maybe a human being or a silhouette being there, this is where my, my, my focus goes all the way. Agree. 
you, you remember the mountains on Mars and uh, the shadows on the moon where we saw little faces mm -hmm. and we couldn't see anything else afterwards. I think it uh, is the same. I don't know if it was done intentionally or not, uh, if it was modified with liquefying in post or not, maybe I don't the think creator so. can, can let us know, but uh, it's really, really cool. You know what would be really cool? I mean, if it modified, it would be two hands like this. That's will be, <laughs> that's would be cool. Like. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, from it, the it's, glass. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's doable actually. In Photoshop, it's relatively easy to you know to do. Uh, remember, guys, that butterfly. I have this uh, image of. Uh, to do. Okay, later. I can show you. It was nice butterfly made from multiple splashes and actually very. We're looking really good. A uh, long time ago. So let's let's back to this. Uh, Jean, you have little things, little like this, for example, uh, places where you can do some cleaning in Photoshop. It's not a big deal, but if uh, we're talking about image for your portfolio, it should be as perfect as possible in terms of post-production. So what are little things? Like you do have some reflections there, some, well, whatever, studio with you, maybe. Uh, and it's it's dark. It should be just you know dark gray, whatever. Pick the color and make it all uh, uniform or better. You can make a little gradient there. Of course, gradient is more preferable uh, to to keep the shape, you know, the cylindrical shape. Uh, and actually, it's it's a very good image. Uh, I'm I'm trying to you know be picky here and there, but uh, it's really cool. I would love to see a little bit more interesting splash though. Yes, Andre fell in love with this fallen man, <laughs> but I would love to see, you know, a little bit something like, oops. So, a little bit more expression, because the splash, you know, I'm, I'm just, well, it's a big uh, part of my photography life, you know, splashing and all this stuff. Splashes are very kind of energetic. They, they're very emotional subject, really, because they can show, you know, that, uh, the motion, the volume, all this, it, it, it has the most impact uh, to the viewer when there is nice splash. So I would definitely would play a little bit more with splashes. And, you know, with splashes we work like this, we do splash and splash and splash and taking pictures, taking pictures, taking pictures, and then we combine them. It's, it's hard to get perfect one. If you're a lucky one, cool, but the chances very little. <laughs> Yeah, get some more here, like booms, there is some uh, here. If you take, I don't know, like 50 shots of the same position and same splashing, you'll probably get something interesting. And again, you can do more shaky, less shaky, and you, then you'll have a library of images to choose from. So that's what my advice in terms of uh, making it more impactful, you know. Also, even though I like the monochromatic approach with uh, with one color, it could also be interesting if you use some um, food coloring substance to, to color a little bit the liquid. Use a complementary color from the background and uh, could look a little bit, I don't know if more interesting. It will be definitely a different mood to the to the photo, but uh, could, uh, could lead you to create something else also. Right. I don't know if you took that into consideration. Agree. And the last thing before we, I think we're done here, uh, just idea or, or suggestion. If your spot, the light that you used for the background, it, it would be quite a little bit different uh, well, picture, but to make it a little bit uh, more dramatic, try to make it smaller. And I see, you know, there is some like uh, some s strange dark spots here, so that's probably not what uh, was your intention, probably some shadow, but if you have smaller, it may be still outside of the, uh, of the frame. I mean, it still could be like uh, all uh, highlighted, but with darker edges, smaller spot will give you, um, could give you more interest and more contrast uh, gradients on the reflections and everywhere. So instead of, let's say, your subject is that small, so instead of having this big spot, you can make it smaller. And your subjects will look a little bit more dramatic because of this, because it's grabbing a reflection, darker reflection from outside of your spot on the background. 
So just just an idea. Okay. Yeah, cool idea. Thank you. Uh, but then, other than this, a very good work. Love it. Let's move to. Oh, let us one. know in the comments if we are too picky with the yeah. analysis of your image because we get a lot of time to look at every single pixel and comment on it. So yeah. let us know, please. There, there are not many submissions. We uh, and guys, if you want, uh, let's say, if you have some questions that I can demonstrate, uh, feel free to post them. It's all yours. I mean, the studio. If I can shoot something and show you, I would. Uh, I would love to. I'm just not sure what exactly challenges you may have, like one we had, and we kind of we make it happen. I have a question from uh, uh, Cam Campus. Campus. Well, again, I'm really bad at pronouncing. You see, I'm, I'm at names. I'm just. I better not open my mouth at all. Uh, however, hi guys. Really enjoying your webinars. Thank you. A uh, bit of topic. Uh, are you planning to make some new courses uh, on product? videos splashes would be really great well we do we have plans on making uh, new courses but we're thinking more about CGI you know why we have so many courses and especially on splashes we can make but I always think what new I can bring there really I don't want to do the same thing that you know I, I did before like even like five years ago or whatever it still works great I mean Technology, technology, but splashing, let's say, it's still same hands and stuff like this. So if I would find, if you help me to find the topic that is not covered on 40G, on the courses, on workshops, if it's not covered, please bring it. I'll be happy uh, to, to arrange the, the course, whoever will do it. Right now, we are struggling finding a new, a new topics for this. Like I said, CGI is something new. We, we have a few, but there's endless possibilities there. But in terms of photography, <laughs> super picky is good, so, and the same. OK. OK, one more question. How uh, to light up darker liquid and make some splashes? dark liquids without the uh, bouncer card behind showing in every shot. Uh, darker liquid and some splashes without card behind. Well, Marco, I need to understand a little bit because if you talk about splash, you don't need cards, you know, on the frame, right? If you talk about glassware, yes, you may need to have uh, things on where well, well, relatively close to your uh, to your subject to get nice um, edges. But if you do splashes plus glass, this is maybe what you're asking: how to get you know you, you're getting splashes, but it's still uh, on the frame, the the cards probably. If it's like this, I what I do, my solution is this. The distance between your, let's say, black cards, let's say, black screens uh, that you have on both sides behind the subject, like we showed before, right, to have uh, edges, the distance could be, could be increased without impacting the reflection, the size and anything. You just need to compensate it with the size of your card. For example, if you shoot something that big with the lens, let's say, 50 millimeters, so it's, it's kind of somewhere wide, not too much, but to get to cover your edges with the reflection from black screens, you may need like uh, to have two times larger black cards on both sides to be, let's say, like half a feet away. Just imagine. But somehow when you splash in, you need to have all this distance. You, have, you need to have more room. So what you do, you increase the size of the black card like three times. So it's like three or let's say five feet. And you move it away. It will be the same reflection. Because you, you understand, right? It's, it's like the angle that it looks through. You can have something smaller closer, or you can have something larger but further away. So if you just move them like this, then you have room for splashing. And it won't be on the frame. Well, this is my solution if I understand you right. <laughs> Let me know. Yes or not. Andre, what do you think? Was it 
Uh, yeah, your your solution is good, but I'm not sure if we understood the the question correctly because he mentions a little bit lower, like wine or coke, but with a darker background. So I think it's a problem with lighting darker liquids against a darker background. I'm I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, well, with darker liquids, you don't need to. Well, it's a question. If you don't need them to be uh, lit through, I mean, let's say you don't need to show that it's a little bit like Coke. But again, it will be. Okay, darker liquids need just more reflections on them. So you don't see through, but instead you highlight, you know, you put some strip boxes, so on the splash and whatever. Uh, since it's glossy, right, it's liquid, it's glossy, and it's dark, it will reflect your lights. So put them around. It will be nice, nice, you know, reflections, bright reflections on the splashes. Uh, some light, if it's dark background, well, it will be dark. There is no, I mean, it's the physics, right? If the <laughs> liquid is dark, dark background, there is no way you can see the color of your liquid. Unless there is some smaller droplets, and again, that highlight that you have somewhere from the front side, yeah, it will be visible at some point that it will, it, let's say Coke, it will be uh, brownish. But bigger chunks of your liquid will be dark. Well, that's fine. I mean, that's you can do in Photoshop, you know, a little pool, maybe color or whatever. OK, uh, Andre, I think questions start coming. We do have last. Uh, last yeah, we have three more images, so maybe we three? can focus on the images. Yeah, okay. there are two more. OK. You need to reveal all the comments. Show more comments on top of the oh, glass. Oh, I see. So let's let's do it really fast, guys, and we'll jump on on your questions. Okay, it will be Q and A. Q &A. Question, yeah. So because we kind of talking a lot. Okay, Jin, second favorite. Okay, this is interesting idea. That's cool. That's uh, light painting, as I see. I mean, as I can imagine that <laughs> how it was done. Um, of course, if it's like painting, if it's like this, uh, this is almost like an art. So I'll uh, tell you my vision of this, okay? It may be quite different from yours, but with what I see, how I would do it. First, I would uh, make it like this. There is pouring light, you pour it out. So instead of having vertically, I'll move it like somebody's holding, but of course without hand. Uh, so it's like really light is pouring. Yes, exactly, Andre, thank you. This is first. Christmas. Uh, yep. Second, what's going on inside? I think it could be better there. There is some, you know, like lines, blah, 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 almost like, uh, you know, you put some threads there. It's a light. I would try to make it glowing more. So it's like, you know, there is, instead of that painting that I see inside, uh, I would use different light modifier on my flashlight or whatever. So it's more like glowing there. Maybe not completely uniform, but you know, some bigger, brighter light without those dark things. And then pouring the way that you did. The pour is beautiful. It looks really cool. You cropped it then. Why you cropped that beauty? You, we see that jar. We don't see that much of the jar because you don't have any lights around. I would try to highlight it a little bit more around just to see you know, how it's uh, the shape. And, but I wouldn't crop that close. I would make it room, so let that light you know, pour out. This is my vision. Andre, what do you think? You have well, besides what you have said, uh, I come back to my regular obsession about the background and the separation and the importance of the background. And on the top ro left corner, actually, I'm kind of losing the edge of, of the glass. It's uh, melting into the, into the background. Now, on, on our live video, it might be a little bit darker than it is on my screen directly from the 40G group. But still, I'm kind of losing the definition and it's hard to, to say what is going on there. So maybe highlighting the edges a little bit more, just a tiny bit, or creating uh, an interesting background could uh, work to the advantage of the photo. That's Good point. Good point. the only thing that I can add. Yeah. Good point. Thank you, Andre. Let's move to the next Thank one. You. Guys, we have questions. We see them. Give us a moment. <laughs> uh, we do have two images. One from Miros and one from, let's go from uh, Sanfer. 
uh, this is kind of classic image of beautiful glass on a beautiful background, a little bit somehow not in center, crop it center, just a little. It's completely symmetrical thing, at least. It's supposed to be in the middle, right? It's not like, uh, anyways, about composition. If it's middle, it should be really middle. If it's not middle, we have, uh, you know, golden section, all that stuff, put it on the side, it's beautiful. There is uh, one third uh, where, you can, where you can have subject, which will look great. But somewhere in between, it doesn't look good. So very first thing. Then, here you go, Andre, this is very, very mm, common mistake. Again, where is the top? Where is our beautiful oval? What is going on there, right? We need to shoot from lower or higher. Well, in this case, I prefer lower. Show the opening, otherwise it's flat. Of course, here with the gradient, it doesn't look flat. This is good, good, because you have a gradient, so it shows the shape. But that oval will make a huge difference. And you cannot do it in Photoshop. I mean, you can, but it's, what's the reason? It's not worth the trouble. Yeah. Then all these uh, highlights, shadows, they're not symmetrical. They still look good, but again, the lighting uh, on the background is not symmetrical. Andre, what do you think? First of all, well, besides what you have said, um, I also like to emphasize on the fact that I like the gradients on the glass. I think they are quite good. And uh, I would like to share a little trick that I use. Now, mm -hmm. it's nice whenever you do exercises and uh, whenever you try to learn a new lighting scheme or a new lighting technique, of course, to create both gradients at the same time, to match the flags left and right until you get them almost perfectly symmetrical. They will never be exactly the same. But uh, what do you do if your customer likes the photo and he orders 100 glasses like this? So for glasses like this, which are simple and don't have any uh, differences between left and right, what you can do, you can cut the image in half, flip, and put it next to the previous image. This way, whatever you got on your left side, you'll get it also on your right side. It's a little bit of cheating in Photoshop, but uh, we also want to, to teach you guys how you can handle your work faster. So let me repeat it again, because there is no way for me to show it on the image. Split the image in two. Take the left side if you like the, the shape more. Copy, paste on a new layer, flip horizontal, and then they will perfectly match being completely symmetrical. I don't encourage you to do this all the time. Whenever you exercise and you test new lighting schemes, don't do it. But if the customer wants 100 uh, images like this one, then uh, this will uh, make your workflow a little bit faster. That's cool trick uh, on the white background, right? Uh, on well, any background that yeah. is uh, the um, how you call it the uniform, right? For catalogs, it will work perfectly, right? Yeah, even Diana's image was uh, could have worked like that. Yeah. Well, on this one, it's it will be different because of the background. There is um, gradient. Right, so it's, it's, yeah. if you flip, it will be just a different background. It will be either darker or brighter without gradient, uh, and uh, yeah. we will lose. But just, just take the glass, I mean, you can paint it out with a mask. It right, takes right. Uh, so, 30 seconds. I'm uh, going to add a little bit sunfire. You see how you cropped it, right? Because it's, it's not ready yet. Uh, we have some, something on top, which is kind of some, some shadow. And, <laughs> you know, I was kind of going to to say that, hey, this is not completely ready image, but then I see your watermark. Man, put your watermark. Well, <laughs> it's just my thing, but first of all, I, I don't think it's a good idea, but it's fine to have. I know the reason people doing it, that's fine. But the main thing, if you put a watermark, if you put your name on something, it should be as perfect as possible. And I couldn't imagine that you can crop it nicely. I mean, it's simple. Sometimes. People saying, oh, I don't have skills, you know, in Photoshop. That's fine. I understand. This is your level. But you definitely, you for sure can do better because you can crop, for example. Uh, guys, it's super important. Be uh, very, mm, how you call it? Uh, there is world well, perf perfectionist, right? So be perfectionist uh, on your work. It's, it's super important because this is, this, that little 1% or 2% uh, will make 
a huge difference. I mean, f to, to get out from the rest, if your images will be always as good as they could possibly be based on your level, you will get a little bit higher, a little bit higher even, you know, from people who have more experience. This will work out on the long run. You will be, I mean, it, it should be like that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's it. So, oval, first thing, uh, crop, like I said. I think the gradient could be better. Since you have a gradient here, you do have it. It's, it's fine, uh, but you see, it's a little bit too bright, a little bit too bright here, and it's a little bit too bright here. I would do what I would do. I would try to squeeze it a little bit, that make it that gradient a uh, little bit narrower, meaning that it will be darker here. It won't be brighter because it's too bright. Maybe it's a little bit, a little bit, could be a little bit darker, so it's not overexposed completely. Uh, just make sure pixels are not dead there, are not completely white. Uh, but narrower gradient will give you way more interesting picture here. Okay, it will be just you know more emphasized. Uh, and this, the last thing probably, it's a suggestion. Of course, it's fine like this. Try to pour water there. Boom. It's, it will be like, <laughs> it will be harder to shoot, actually. You, you will start seeing things that you don't see now. Probably you tried it. Maybe this is the reason why it's without water. It immediately will, you will see the, you know, the stuff that is around your studio. But it looks better, usually. Well, we did say glassware, not splashware. So. OK, I agree. That's, that's, you see, you see, that's <laughs> my, I always want more splash and more water. I like it. Okay, and the last one. Actually, um, we had a new submission. Here? Just refresh it? I mean, here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me try. Uh, I think we should refresh it, but yeah. uh, Marco just submitted his own image. So be brave, submit during the submission period, one month. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we have, uh, yeah, Campus. Um, yep, thank you, thank you. Uh, He's saying that really looking forward to see your courses and product videography, videography actually, yeah. Um, oh, one more from Marco. Oh, it's a beautiful one. Yeah. We can talk a lot, guys. Uh, you know, let maybe switch to, uh, Andre, what do you think? Maybe we can switch to uh, answering the question a little bit. So since we do have sure. some, and then we'll jump back <laughs> if there is any. So from from what I'm monitoring here on YouTube, I see a oh, good. an interesting question. Oh, no quit. Uh, on YouTube, yeah. Are there any bad issues with the new RF Canon 100 Macro 2.8 lens for product photography? Now, as far as I know, the old 2.8 before the the new um, the new RF uh, mount, it was a beautiful and an excellent macro lens. Uh, with the new one, I didn't hurt anything, but I invite the community and or uh, members from the Fotinti group to share your opinion if you are using it, if you faced any problems. Otherwise, I don't know, go to the camera store, ask to see one, test it, take some photos and, and see what's going on. Alex, I don't know if you have any experience, it's a relatively no. new lens for the mirrorless mount of Canon. No, I, I don't. You know, I stopped upgrading uh, my uh, photo gear one time ago, just because it works, you know, the, the existing one just works, and uh, somehow I don't have that uh, urge to, to upgrade and think, you know, I feel I will be better photography or if I get better camera. I kind of, it stopped doing the thing inside me, so I keep <laughs> my old stuff. <laughs> the camera is old, it's 40 megapixel that, you know, Sony It's good, but again, it's older, it's Mark III. Now they may have, well, they have all kind of stuff which I a little bit lost uh, to follow. Anyway, let's talk about the last one uh, which we didn't cover. Last two, actually. Yeah, two. This one, uh, it will be, uh, well, it will be rather quick, I would say, uh, Marius. Marius, it's a good good idea, and uh, it, it's not a little bit not a photography that uh, we used to, you know, critique because it's just outside, outdoor, but still it's, you know, glass and why not? And I don't know, guys, do you see the same that I see? I see one amazing, beautifully looking glass, 
And I see another glass that looks just rather simple, or it's a little bit not even clean enough, sort of, at least I see it this way. And, well, I'm not sure what it's doing there. So, <laughs> uh, Marius, look at the light. You have one light source, right? You have something uh, just behind, uh, some sunset, I think, right? Uh, you probably increase contrast and things. And it looks beautiful on, that, uh, on the glass that is falling. It, it has uh, all this, you know, embossing and the stuff, the shape of the glass. It, it brings uh, all these colors from the sky. It it's, looks great. But the another glass, it doesn't look good. I mean, first of all, it's, it's not really clear what it's doing um, in terms of the storytelling. These two glasses, empty glasses, if it would be a bottle, if it would be, let's say, um, maybe some fruits or whatever, I, I can see the story. Okay, somebody drank any, so everything and there is empty glass and fallen, blah, blah, blah. But two empty glass and one uh, not interesting looking, just, you know, plain, uh, it just, it's not, it shouldn't be there. This image could be way better if, uh, let's say, apple. Just put apple there and a little bit highlight on it. Uh, or, well, bottle of champagne maybe, even better. <laughs> so, in short, like this, because there is no light that I can uh, critique and stuff like this, saying that, you know, you can move something. No, it's just all natural. Work with nature, but create a story if you don't work, you know, with light and stuff like this. So this is my turn on this. Andre, I don't know, what do you think? Well, I think the, the processing is a little bit too obvious, as you said. Uh, I think the contrast is a little bit too strong. Um, there is uh, water on the table that the glasses are sitting on, but there is no, no water on the glass. So again, there is a little bit of contradiction. Uh, if I am to take further uh, the stretch of my imagination for creating the story of the composition, I would say these glasses are friends and they just came out after the rain to watch the sunset, uh, which could be an interesting story, but not necessarily in the commercial part. I mean, um, I'm kind of missing the, the, the subject, as Alex said. I appreciate the fact that I can see the opening of the glass, nice colors, nice uh, reflection and refractions on the embossing, embossing part of the longer glass. But um, I think this is where the compliments uh, will, I'm afraid, they will, uh, they will stop. And I'm missing the, um, not the point, but uh, what does the author want to say? It's either something very artistic, which contra is contradicted a little bit by the strong editing, or we are missing the point. So let us know in the comments if you are here, what was the intent of, uh, of the photo? Yeah. But to, to friends, it was cool, you know? I didn't see this. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no, they're leaning on each other. So look, we made it to and another party. Yeah, and they're empty. They kind of, they're dry. <laughs> yeah, we are dry. We, they didn't break us during this party. We enjoy another sunset together, my friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, right, we have right, one right, more. Right, one more. And I don't know if you can see any questions on, um, on Facebook. Um, no. No, guys, um, okay. you, you can prepare a drop Q&A uh, because this is the last image and we'll be saying goodbye after that uh, unless you have something for us. So, uh, this is from Marco. Mm -hmm. Well, it's cool. That, of course, it's, it's one of the uh, most um, interesting images from uh, all the, that they reviewed. Uh, this is super cool, very clean, very nice. Um, I can repeat about that oval. It's visible. It's okay. It could be a little bit better because, well, yeah. And actually, here it's interesting. If you move lower, you won't see that much of the oval that uh, liquid creates. It's going to be more flat. But you will see uh, more on top. I think this is the right thing. I mean, it's better to see this way. Of course, the liquid is way more interesting to, to look at. Uh, so I would say it's fine. Uh, the way the splash works, cool. How did you... Uh, top drop. Okay, it's composed. I was thinking how you catch it this way nicely. But yeah, you know, our uh, splash, I know guys, if you're familiar, if you've seen it or not, uh, uh, the, the workshop, the splash that we have there, I'm gonna, you know, little show off now, 
Where is, <laughs> is it? It's not clickable. Well, it's supposed to be clickable, but okay, here it is. So, of course, our splash is composed too. But you know what? Each piece of this, it was uh, one, two, three shots. Yeah, I think, yeah, one like this, then one like that. Yeah, I think three composed. Um, it was done right in the camera. Uh, we use uh, the droplet, uh, that Pluto uh, droplet plus trigger, and it worked really well. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So if you're interested to learn all this, and actually, you guys, this little uh, you know sparkly stuff, it's real. It's real, it's laying down there. It was uh, just a fiber optic. Do it yourself, fiber optic, very uh, expensive, like $30. I you think know, on Amazon that I put on, on in front of uh, strobe lighting and it created this. So if you're interested, you can uh, check out on uh, Fotigy. Uh, this is membership uh, only uh, area. I mean, the, the workshops, we have hundreds and hundreds of them. Just check it out. Maybe there is something uh, that you may be interested in. Okay, back to this. Clean, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Marco, a little bit of cleaning. I'll show you where. Remember how I was just saying about doing the best possible? And usually the issue with the best is not on the camera. Usually it's Photoshop that someone lazy to look at, for example, like this uh, little thingy. It, it's not clean there. And understandable, it's, it's, it's hard to get clean in camera, but there is a Photoshop. It's super easy to, to make it, you know, uh, uh, perfectly looking. You know, glass should be clean. Uh, what else? Well, you can do a little bit maybe better here, uh, again, Photoshop, but it's, it's not big. It's not big. I'm trying to be uh, really picky. Mm. The, this dark reflection, I think there is some Photoshop because it doesn't look, you know, it looked a little bit matte. Somehow, uh, like, it looked like you blurred it a little bit. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure, but it looked a little bit un, uh, unnatural. You know, like, like the surface of this glass is a little bit blurry for some reason. You know, like mattish, but it's not matte, it's, it's, a, it's a glossy. Uh, here it looks better. I'm sure, Andre. Wh what do you think? Is it me being too picky, or no? I think uh, you are right, and uh, the, the dark edge is what caught my attention in the first place. Besides another mark on the glass, but it was actually on my monitor, so zooming in to <laughs> to make sure mm -hmm. it's not on on the photo. <laughs> it was a stain on my on my monitor. Uh, for me, it looks a little bit too dark. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, you mean the the this side? Some... Or everything. The the left side. No, that side. The, uh, the left uh, the left dark side. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. I'm not. Something is off with it, as you said. Maybe it's added. Maybe it's blurred. I, I'm not sure what it is exactly. And um, yeah, to be extra picky, as you said, um, what I would try to do on the left side, also in Photoshop, I would try to make it make the curvature of the line a little bit more rounded, let's say. There are some places where it, it kind of changes direction at a steep angle. It's not like a like a circle, I would say. Where? Well, what are you talking about? The, what line? Well, uh, if, if, if you look at the dark um, edge... Are you talking about right, outside or inside? Side. Inside. Okay. A little bit higher than the top of the liquid, oh, so like, somewhere like there. Here, right? Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's easy to to fix in Photoshop. I mean, okay. You just even with Liquify, it will take you one minute. But um, this change of direction, which probably comes either from the flag or I don't know the way the liquid refracted the light, mm -hmm. it's also at the bottom of the glass and um, it kind of loses the nice roundness of this kind of glass. Okay. But again, just to be extra picky. I agree. Otherwise, it's cool. Uh, it's it's really good. I, I love this image. Uh, yeah, I love cool uh, color and everything. And, you know, that's that's, and it's relatively clean. So, Marco, thank you so much. Um, I'm sure, but we need to do it, uh, Andre. We need to pick the winner who will get access to the to this workshop for free. Yeah, that's a cool. hard one. Which one? Who you who you work for? 
we, we need to, well, we have two more, right? Um, so let's have a quick uh, run through them again. So we have uh, Lydia. We do have, uh, to, 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 to. we have then uh, Diana with this. Mm -hmm. And then we do have, uh, to, 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 where is it? And we have four of these, five. You know, my favorites so far, this one from Marco. Uh, Stanford okay. did a good job. And uh, Lydia. Where is it? And this one. So if you agree, we can choose from these three. This, uh, this, or this. I think this is the best. I don't know. Would you agree? No? This is super cool, too. But this is <laughs> a little bit better. So, from the three you mentioned, from the three finalists, I would have to go with, uh, yeah, this one from the top. If I'm to choose between uh, the bottle from Lydia, the splash from uh, Marco, and uh, the flute-like glass. So, so Lydia or, or top, which top? Or this? From Stan Sanford? Yeah, that one. San yeah, I would go with that one. Uh, you know, I would go with Lydia probably, but I think she's a member. So that's not for her. We may find some other uh, prize for her. But uh, between these two, between this and this, I would choose this. So, guys, we have draw. We, Andre, uh, voting for send for image. I'm voting for Marco. Can you help us? Let's have one. Number one is this. Okay, this is one. And number two is this. Put the number that you think is the winner on the chat. One or two, and we'll see just who'll get more. Okay, this is number two. This is number one. Okay? And while we have this delay, you do this. Please do it. Help us. We, we really need to, ch uh, to find the winner. Uh, we can um, talk a little bit about... Andre, we do have coming another live event, right? Q right, Q on, a 16th. For, on 16th of uh, September, we will have... Yes, that's it. Are eight months, days from now. Yeah, eight days from now. Um, you need to register there, it's free. It's basically only for uh, our students for certification program, but we open it, uh, we stopped opening it quite ago. Uh, quite a while ago, and uh, you can you can get it free. I mean, get to it free. It's more like um, it's Q and A, lots of uh, technical questions and uh, answers, plus usually some demonstration because I, I try to show you know the the most um, common issues that uh, our students of certification program uh, facing. So. To get it for sure, you need to be a subscriber. Uh, make sure to subscribe to uh, 40G. I mean, you can just get some free class or whatever, uh, or create an account. You will be subscribed automatically after that, and you will receive a notification. You, you will receive invite. Okay, so it's that's free, but you need to register there. So let's see. Which one? Who's the winner? Two, 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 oh. one. Three, we have four, four votes for four. two. Four. So, ba -ba bam. The winner is Marco. Congratulations. It was the last Congrats, submission Marco. during the uh, talk, but why not? I mean, it's not after the talk, it's during. So, here we go. Um, Marco Nara is the winner. Uh, this is our, uh, well, the winner of Glassware Challenge. Please contact us on Facebook, whatever you, you, you will find the way, or we'll contact you uh, with the details how you will get your access, uh, free access to our uh, recent workshop. Okay, workshop includes, uh, you see, we, we, there is a PSD, uh, we do have a uh, full shooting session and full post-production. Well, this is post-production, this is shooting. Uh, so, cool stuff to have in your so, Marco, just write to support, uh, enter the 40 website. 
uh, write to support with your email address that you are registered on uh, on the website or if you're not let us know how to get in contact with you and we'll make sure you get your prize congratulations yep congratulations and i think we are done so guys if no well, questions not, yep. yeah looks like no questions thank you so much for being with us thank you for joining this call andre uh, thank you for uh, being with me uh, well, not just done, Alex. Sorry to interrupt you, okay. but we are not done because we have decided what is the theme for September. Man. So we need to do it right now. Either. Oh man! Okay, we'll do. <laughs> we are here. People are voting. <laughs> so, guys, how about you choose? Next. You challenge. can either let us next challenge for September month. What should be the theme for it? So you can write right now in the comments on the YouTube or Facebook live broadcast. Or just write a comment on uh, on Alex post about this live. So we'll wait your opinions until uh, later tomorrow, let's say, to also give a chance for people who are sleeping somewhere in the world right now to, to write their opinion. <clears throat> so let's say 24 hours from now. And uh, we'll look into it. So again, write your proposal for the month of September theme on um, on the live chat on YouTube or Facebook, or drop a comment where people were posting the images right now. And um, whoever gets most uh, most votes will uh, will be the team and will announce it in a day or two. What do you think, Alex? Should we do it like this? Uh, yes, it's a perfect plan. Uh, guys, I'm dropping again a 40G Facebook group on YouTube chat, because I think YouTube chat may disappear. I'm not sure uh, about this. It should stay, but who knows? It's YouTube property. <laughs> Uh, to make sure that it will stay, you join the group. Uh, it's uh, it's private group, but uh, we accept everyone. And uh, post there. Uh, it will be easy to find. We, we see your uh, ideas. Uh, because I see jewelry, cocktails. Well, either. Again, drop us. Uh, we'll see how many, and then we'll probably um, we'll, we'll make you know few selections and then run it uh, through you again. Uh, to choose from one or two, because for example, jewelry is, is a great uh, thing to do. Uh, I love it. I would love to have such challenge, and I would love to shoot it uh, for the workshop because we're going to do the same thing with the workshop. But again, maybe it's too too much. Maybe it's too challenging for most of the people. Who knows? Jewelry, it's not an easy thing. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah, cocktails may be easier. Cocktails, but again, it's alcohol. Again, again, alcohol. Well, not again. <laughs> again, <laughs> I was, you know, <laughs> I was running ads you know, on uh, workshops on Facebook, and every other workshop we have some alcohol in it, and Facebook bans that <laughs> ad saying that it's alcohol. It's like uh, advertising for alcohol. <laughs> so I was like, okay, no, no, th th let's not shoot alcohol anymore. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Okay. Uh, and also a big thank you to all the people who submitted their work. We really appreciate your efforts and uh, it was good, but we need to have one winner. So don't get discouraged if you didn't win this time. We'll have more challenges on the way. Yep. Great. So thank you guys. All requests will be accepted. No worry. Uh, just join the group. Andre, thank you so much. For being thank you, Alex, you. and thank you, everybody. Thank you guys, have a great week and see you in, well, some of you will see in eight days, in 16th, right? And uh, others guys see you in a month or so when we'll be doing our uh, review for this coming challenge that you're gonna choose soon. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, bye everybody. Bye guys. Okay.